So I'll open this Rasokar. So when you open it the first time, it's like a kind of a different platform or a different viewport than what we had on, on Rhino. So the Rhino is like the 3D environment that you like all your objects live there. And mm -hmm. like you can see them from different views, just perspective, top view, right view, and so. And but but the grasshopper viewport is not the same. It's just like one plain surface that will hold only the, the commands that we will use. Uh, I will start with the most basic thing, which is a panel. So I'm gonna just drag a panel here. And as you see, it's just like uh, a plane that you put uh, some like commands on it. So yeah, the, this panel is like one of the basic data types that uh, Grasshopper deals with, which is text. So as a data type, I can say it's uh, text number one, or I can drag number here, numbers and digits, uh, they called like integers or uh, floats. And so this is a different uh, data type. Then you will have the somehow like the same uh, objects that we have created in Rhino, which are the, the curves, the points, the surfaces, the meshes, which are all here on the pan on the these tabs. So if I expand this, you can see uh, there is like also like mathematical equations. We'll check them. We have the curves, the curves, the surfaces, meshes, and some like intersections. But a lot of like or all of these uh, extra tabs that I have. They all of them are uh, plugins, so they are not the yeah. What they what they, they come as default with the program. So I just add them as extras. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, I don't need a lot of them, so <laughs> you, you might uh, not need a lot of them. So, but yeah, we can check the most important for our work. Yeah, I, I will want to uh, put. The different data types, I will just like, I usually try to put after each other, so like a list or something, so it gets easier to for you to understand what okay. kind of data that we, we work with. Uh, but we can, I, I will just like give you also like a quick uh, overview about the the use of this like or the viewport itself. I will just double click and call a circle, C I R and circle. this orange one, the yellow thing. Sorry, you have radius and plane. Mine doesn't look like that. Oh yeah, it's just because uh, from display, from my display, I uh, activated this draw full names. It's like for as a starter, it's really helpful to you to use this from display. So when you put it here, you can see if you select it, it's gonna be uh, green, which is, which means mm -hmm. it's active and it's working and it's selected. So it will turn, uh, it will turn green on, on your grasshopper screen as well as on your Rhino screen. So you can check from the top view mm -hmm. yeah. that you have a small circle back there, which is uh, one unit, one millimeter in radius. Yeah, when you don't select it, it becomes red uh, on the rhino, and uh, yeah, light light gray on uh, on grass support. Light gray means it's working. Uh, it means no problem. But let's say if we have something wrong with our work, for example, it's asking us for a radius, and I want to put an empty data like this in the in the radius so mm. now it turns to red it's saying that it's also like with the bubble here you can see that data conversion failed from text to number because it knows that as a panel here the data is coming as text and the data expected here will be number so it couldn't Work it. So this is why it turns red. Mm, okay. Um, 
I like using the control, like clicking control and think again, so it cancels. Uh, maybe this is the same if we link in a number to the plane. So now it's asking for a plane and I'm giving a number. So it does not work. Uh, is like there's an error. So yeah, data conversion fails from number to plane. So this so is what how, I, uh, how do I delete that? that late radius line to get it out of there. Sorry, that uh, connecting uh Yeah, uh, clicking control, you just drag again. Oh, control. Drag. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, me just uh, showing this, like the, the types or the colors of uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the components that we can see. Uh, sometimes also, if I can, I don't know, call. Um, yeah, some some of the components will come with uh, with an orange color. So the orange color doesn't mean that there is something wrong. It doesn't mean like similar to this one to the red. The red it means that it's trying to work, but it's failing to translate what you're doing because data type is different now. Uh, while the orange one means only like uh, I can work, I can function, uh, okay, but uh, I still wait data from you. So mm, this is the okay. meaning. So because now it's waiting for a point and a curve and to analyze them and see how close they they are to each other. So now we we don't have any input and we can't have any outputs. Mm. Yeah, but in this situation, we don't have input, but uh, there are a default input. It's uh, like uh, entered in, there, which is for, for example, the radius now one, and the plane is like uh, the center of the circle is the zero, zero point. That's why the default values created the output, and that's why it's working. So some some of these elements uh, or like uh, commands, uh, they have default values like this. So they work mm -hmm. just fine without any inputs. Uh, but other commands will not work until you plug uh, the correct or the right input. So this is the difference between these two colors. 